What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Or. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Sorry, man. I look tired. I look crusty. And not too long. Woke up for my little beauty now. And I mean, had to get a little, little rested. All right. But anyhow, we're here back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Inside Google's massive headquarters. All right. I think I think this might be a little segment on the channel because I actually enjoy these stuff. Um. We did Shanghai Tesla Mega Factories around the world. We did Apple. How much billions? I think I'm like, is it four billion, five billion mega Superdome factory, the spaceship? Uh, we did that, and uh, uh, we did Tesla and Apple. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that might be it. That's the might be it for headquarters. So then we have Google, the Google giant, the employer for YouTubers, main employers for YouTubers. Well, that is Google, Alphabet. Yeah, YouTube basically. Um, yeah. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a prosperous Christmas time and holidays with your loved ones. All right. With that being said, let's get into the reaction video. Hope I can do this quickly. That looks stupid. Alright, let's go. We all use its services every day. It answers our most bizarre questions. You're even okay, watching okay, this video okay, using loud. the company's video streaming platform. Me too. We're talking Google. Or more importantly, oh. it's bank busting Silicon Valley headquarters. A short walk from the San Francisco Bay Area and a stone's throw away from other multinational headquarters like uh, Apple Park and the hosts of Facebook, eBay and Netflix sits the 26-acre site on which we find Google Plex. Based in Mountain View, the Google headquarters gets its name from a play on words. Most evidently, it's a combination of Google and Complex, but spelled a little differently, Google Plex is an incredibly large number with lots of zeros after it. The latter explanation is probably a hint towards Google's global monopoly and its incredible successes. The land was purchased from Silicon Graphics, the creators of Jurassic Park's famous dinosaurs. Maybe that's why a dinosaur still looks over the complex today. For the first time ever, Google didn't move into buildings that were inhabited by previous tenants. The multinational firm this time around took matters into its own hands and employed South African architect Clive Wilkinson. It was said that teamwork and creativity topped the mood boards in Wilkinson's office when designing the giant Google complex. Both firms came together to design a space which was not only set up to boost productivity, but also workforce satisfaction. This can be seen with fun lava lamps and even giant screens showing live Google search terms from around the world. A nod to the company's most famous asset. Oversized whiteboards plaster to some walls, full of creative ideas and, uh, not so creative anonymous jokes. And many of the lobbies are home to pianos, welcoming the next musician who dares to play. An incredible amount of glass was used in the construction of Googleplex, which boosts wow. natural light, and offices are arranged in workspaces of three or four people. These little clusters are said to be effective for sharing and developing ideas, but are small and independent. You know, one thing I like so far, I have witnessed already, working for Google, I always knew this, it doesn't matter where you're from. Can you bring something to, to what can, you, can you bring something to the team? Yes. Hey, come on board. I don't care your color. Where you from, your sex, your, your beliefs, I don't give a damn. Can you make me some money? And I agree with Google for that. Dependent enough to produce I like that. It seems that Google has perfectly balanced the best of both worlds. Inside of photos show workstations decorated with various Google and Android paraphernalia, and from what we've seen, they seem to house some serious productivity. Employees are there to work, but the company doesn't want them to feel that way. Staff are treated as friends, with access to an incredible amount of facilities. We've all heard of an on-site gym, that's nothing new, but the company also offers swimming place swimming pools. These are designed to reduce the footprint needed by allowing swimmers to swim against an artificially generated current. Wow. There is ping pong, billiards and foosball tables are dotted throughout the campus, with spaces to kick back and enjoy some video gaming too. Google even has its own self-contained pods, which are used by staff members to kick back and relax or to distance themselves from their surroundings in order to get down to work on some heavy tasks. What about outdoors? After all, California weather is supposed to be among the best in the world. Google has that covered too. Tennis courts, soccer fields and other outdoor spaces for fun frisbee games are all totally free to use for stuff. These are all interlinked by a network of private footpaths. Health is looked after by on-site medical staff, and luxury is provided by a company-subsidized massage service. A haircut salon, a laundrette, and dry cleaners. The list goes on. In fact, rumor has it that team members bring their laundry in over the weekend to avoid having to use their own machines. 
The best part Why about it, traveling between these amenities is all done on Google Covered Bytes. It's even reported that many employees are given a 20% portion of their work time to focus on side projects unrelated to their usual workload. Promoting and inspiring creativity pays off. Google says that's how many of its labs projects were dreamt up. Self-sufficiency was key to the Googleplex. Although not fully, some of the complex's energy requirements are met by on-site... Google, question. Since if you're watching them as well, you are watching this. But anyhow, um, why you guys never thought about making it easier for YouTubers outside of the United States or the UK or I'm based on to upload on your platform and make us a monetize their channel? Come on, man. I mean, Google, you're big enough for it. You know, it's a market outside of the US and the uh, um, UK and Canada. Caribbean for a second couple. Look into it, Google. Make it easier for us. Try to find a way. So the panels, which were carefully placed across the building's roofs. Some of the fruit, vegetables, and herbs eaten in the company's cafeterias are even grown in one of the park's two gardens, which themselves are accredited by an educational society whose aim is to teach people about the benefits of horticulture. Many scientists and psychologists have commented on the benefits of getting outdoors for our mental health. And as you'd expect, tech giant Google recognizes. Hey, you know what's funny? The, all these niggas working at Google, right? But like 90% of these niggas have an Apple computer. That say something a lot. Do I really want a Google laptop? If your own employees don't even... I have a question, Google. Why is your employee not using your own product? No, I didn't make it. <laughs> if it was, I don't know. It's, it's something I realized. Watch, so far I've counted... I've seen a lot of apples so far from this, from this video. Well, let's keep it, let's keep counting it just for the fun of it. So far, four. I don't think that's the Apple. Spaces, strategically placed Lap in MacBooks, though. MacBooks. No phone. No phone. Oh, well, I'll let them go with the phone. Food. Are you sitting down? Because this isn't for the faint-hearted. Google provides its staff with food. And a lot of it. Ooh. Entirely for free. Workers can enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the site's uh, various in the back. free of charge. Including uh, Charles' the cafeteria, which was named after Google's first lead chef, Charlie X. Nowadays, the restaurants focus on food that is fresh, organic, and healthy. Those Buddha bowls or yeah. that smashed avocado on toast that you see on Instagram, these are the sorts of meals being dreamt up by head chefs, which include a fusion of the world's foods. We imagine a wide variety of dietary requirements are considered when planning the menus at the Google Place. But Google employs real people. They're not all robots. Six. And these real humans get hungry between meals, just like you and I. The solution... Seven. Seven. Every single workspace is within walk... Okay, a keeping distance of an entire snack, which is stocked with treats like granola, candy, and hot and cold drinks. The novelty of consistently eating out may have worn off for many of the company's more seasoned members of staff, but kitchenettes are always nearby with essential amenities like microwaves, kettles, and fridges. An unwritten saying among the Man. companies work. Nine, ten, and the next two before is twelve. And I let me see, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't go back and see this one in the corner. Like microwaves, kettles, and fridges. An un see. This one, these two. Oh shit, there's one more right there. That's 13. Written saying among the company's workforce. I still didn't catch this one here, but I can let them one slide too. It's the Google 15. Ah, that's a MacBook. Which refers to the 15 pounds of weight that new starters often gain with all this free food. In fact, we don't actually know how much the company spends on feeding the entire camper. Would you like to be so to continue? Ran some calculations, I give up, bro. I'm gonna see a MacBook all throughout this damn video. Traveling to and from the expansive site, employees are likely to catch a Wi-Fi enabled diesel powered bus. Nice. Other members may take to the roads in their own cars, after which they will find one of 2,000 parking spaces underground. Yeah. Or maybe the staff want to plug their electric cars into the PowerPoint supply under a solar panel topped carport. Any visitors to the site will be quick to notice the fun aspects that Google injected here and there. An army of Android statues populate the main outdoor area, a Kit Kat and a gingerbread man to name just two. Of course, the green Android character features, as well as various spin-offs such as the metal Android statue popping out of the Android building's upper floor. Wow. What did all this cost? This site alone cost the firm around one billion dollars. God. That was in the same year as the 2.4 billion dollar acquisition of the New York Chelsea market. They got Let's it. not forget the astonishing amount of money likely spent on food and other maintenance work, and this works out to be one of the world's most expensive. Hey, you know you get money when you throw in a billion dollars on something. 
that's going to get dirty and sun warm. Be in the sun. Think about it. Imagine if you accidentally break one of those. No wonder they get a damn little border around there. Keep your ass away from it. Benson headquarters. What do you think of the tech giant Google's fusion of home and work? I mean, I'm an Apple. Google's got it. It's incredible benefits. What do you value time spent away from work? One thing's for sure, though, if for nothing else, this place is good for a visit as an insight into what the future may hold. Yeah. You know, you know, all these companies sound like a good visit, man. I think you'll find some entertaining in all of them. I really want to visit um, Tesla, though. Apple. Mm. Which one? I don't. I, I'm not too fond to visit Facebook, really. I have Facebook. Yeah, I'm not too fond to visit Facebook or Google. Really, truly. I want to visit Apple. That shit look clean, bro. I won't go inside the. I won't go inside the dome. The little oval, oval crap. I won't go. I don't know, oval circle crap. Apple Park. That's the name of it. I won't go in there. Just walk around. Hi, right, my name is Ari Music. I am the first thing I am the first African American. Oh, not African. For, I mean, American. I am the first black uh, president, CEO, and uh, chairman of Apple Corporation. All right, give me your monies. <laughs> but yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. You guys will see more uh, home headquarters videos. Ah, that's a little, nice little slogan. We can use that one. Yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace.